Good morning, it's Riley here. Today is Friday, December 6th. Today for lunch we're having a ham and cheese tromboli, green beans, and diced pears. Attention SAD Club members that have signed up to work at Santa's workshop next week. Please see Mrs. Manippo for a permission slip or you will not be able to attend the event. For middle and high school CSA members, there will be a meeting today at 2.30. Bring any questions you may have and plan to stay after school to begin working. Attention Rambler basketball fans, the girls varsity basketball team will be opening up their season this year tonight at the Wimber Area Athletic Boosters Tournament in the Wimber Gym. The tournament begins at 6.30 p.m. with Everett playing United. Your Lady Ramblers will face St. Joseph's Academy at 8 p.m. On Saturday, the Wimber Junior Varsity Girls will play United at 4 p.m. The consolation game of the tournament will be at 6 p.m. and the championship game will be held at 7.30 p.m. Adult tickets are $4 and student tickets are $2. Wimber Athletic Passes will not be accepted for these games. Anyone interested in announcing the pregame starting lineups and announcements for the girls or boys varsity basketball teams, please see Mr. Slackoff at your earliest convenience in room 207. The Middle School Student Council will be selling candy canes at all lunches beginning Monday. A variety of flavors are available and your donation benefits WAVE, the Wimber Area Visionary Experience. This group helps to make our town beautiful for all seasons. Please consider donating 75 cents for one candy cane or $1 for two candy canes. Any high school or middle school student interested in participating in Ski Club this year should pick up a registration form in the high school office. Forms and payments are due to the high school office by Friday, December 20th. The Ski Club will make five trips to Seven Springs beginning on January 8th. It's officially the 12 days of Christmas at Wimber Area School District. On Monday, wear your holiday socks, slippers, and scarves. On Tuesday, it's Christmas Hat Day. Wear Santa hats, elf hats, etc. And on Wednesday, it's PBIS Day. Wear your ugly Christmas shirt or ugly sweater. That's all for now. Have a great day. Good morning and happy Friday. Today will be mostly cloudy, but not as cold as yesterday. Expect to see a high temperature of 43 degrees. There will be windy rain showers in the afternoon. The showers will clear up as the night goes on and the temperature will drop as low as 23 degrees. Looking ahead, we predict more rain in the near future. Both Monday and Tuesday will see showers, with Tuesday being the warmest day, reaching a high of 53 degrees. Thanks and have a nice day. Good morning, this is Drew with your Sports Report. The girls varsity basketball team opens up their season at the Waba tournament tonight against St. Joe's Prep at six o'clock in the high school gym. Name that photo. National Miners Day is observed annually on December 6th. This day was created as a day of reflection, when we can show appreciation for the sacrifices, honor the accomplishments, and remember the tragedies that these hardworking individuals experience. Mining is one of the most dangerous jobs in America, and the miners put their lives at risk each and every day as they contend with health and safety issues, as well as the uncertainty of the future. In yesterday's news, who loves those amazing, yummy, awesome french fries? Well, bad news, we are coming up to a french fries shortage because of the cold, wet weather in the U.S. and Canada. In tech news, Portland, Oregon is considering a unique ban, a ban on facial recognition from foreign products. Supporters of the technology argue law enforcement can identify possible criminals with that data 
and stores could give recognized shoppers special offers, we might see a whole new technology era in the future. In this week's matchup with the 49ers taking on the Saints. The 49ers have been a strong Super Bowl contender so far this year. Their only two losses are to other Super Bowl contenders, that being a division rival Seahawks squad and the most dangerous team in the AFC being the Ravens. The Saints also hold a 10-2 record, but their opponents they have lost to have been a terrible Atlanta Falcons team and a below average Los Angeles Rams team. Regardless, this will still be a good game, but I have the 49ers in this one, 23-20. The Saints lost to two mediocre teams, and the Niners lost to two possible Super Bowl contenders. Uh, the two teams are talented on both sides of the ball, but I got the 49ers 28-14. Oh, boo-hoo! Let me play a sad song for you on the world's smallest violin. If only I donated the toy and the cuddles for kids by December 16th, I would have been able to go to the incentive. Back to your work. Make sure you donate your toys, or you'll end up like Frankie. Your life only gets better when you get better. <laughs> Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.